the bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. I'm just gonna say I've had plenty of practice moving quietly. Out the back of bars, bedroom windows, you don't need the details. Anyway, once those Germans were gone, I put my skills to work, heading west towards the British front, quiet as an alley cat. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin, all spoiling for a fight. My lucky day. The Brits must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets huh? instead of shelling the Germans. Still, I had to get through to our side of the line before those guns started up again. Hältst du eigentlich irgendwann mal die Schnauze? 
Ganz ehrlich, ich kenne keinen, der so viel redet wie du. Hallo? Those trenches were packed full of the Kaiser's finest, but hopefully, most of them would be looking for trouble coming the other way. Hopefully. Aber ich habe einen Freund, der im Hauptquartier arbeitet. Und der sagt, es gibt ernste Bedenken, weil einer unserer Frontabschnitte wegen ihnen bröckelt.
A dozen German machine guns at my back kind of encouraged me to keep my head down. No Man's Land was a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. But I held my course. Am I? Son of the fourth bloody Earl of Windsor. <laughs> How naive do you think I am? Oh. Uh, Let's get out of here. I was losing a lot of blood. I didn't have much time to get him back alive. Germans aren't really known for giving up. They did everything. 